Six moms, a genius. She spent 10 years in a classroom, but when she decided to write her own books, she wanted to reach a much bigger audience. So she decided to start her own publishing company, takes things, matters into her own hands. And to join us now to talk about her message, uh, the message that her book sends to children is uh, Maria Desmani. Mm -hmm. And I just want to make sure I got that right. How many books have you published so far? We have a selection of them here on the table. I have a total of five books now. And you. I have one in the works that will come out early in 2015. And these are all children's books? All children's books, yes. And they all have a message? Of empowerment, of being able to be who you are, um, I think it's really important for kids nowadays to go to school and be able to be themselves. There's so much pressure to um, be like everyone else, and it's sad. When I was teaching first grade, I would have six and seven year olds worry about their hair and what they were wearing, and that was their concern. And I think at so six, young. your concern should be whether you're going to do jump rope at recess or go down the slides. Right, like right. your concern should not be clothing and what other people Sweet. think. So. So where does your inspiration come? Because some of these are personal. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So for the first book, it actually came from my experiences as a child. So being teased for the food that I ate, spaghetti and a hot dog bun. Um, I have a unique palate. And so that's where the inspiration for that first book came. And so you just kept on going. And now you are so successful that you're actually helping other aspiring authors. Yes, yes. So I do consulting, which is really great because I can do it while my kids are napping. So I schedule my calls in the afternoon and um, I speak with people all over the country about what they want to do with publishing their own books. What's your number one piece of advice for those folks? Don't give up. Don't give up. When I first said that I wanted to do this, someone um, gave me the advice, oh, it's going to be really, really hard. Unless you find a traditional publisher, you'll never make it happen. And um, the average self-published author sells about 150 books. And so I was able to make that happen. I mean, I have well more than 150 books out there. And I'm Good for you. Well, let's not be modest. I mean, we're talking not hundreds, thousands. We're talking tens of thousands and more. Yeah, about 100,000. So it really, that's you know, so that amazing. just goes to show that you have to believe in what you want to do. And I'm passionate about the message. And um, I was telling Joanne, I, I don't think you can be successful in writing unless you are really passionate about what you're writing for. What do your kids think of the books? You know, it's funny because my five-year-old is just starting to understand that I wrote them. Oh, um, wow. But my three-year-old, she doesn't really have a clue. They, it's hard for them to realize that the words and the pictures are actually created by someone. Yeah, mommy wrote this. Yes, that yes. is amazing. Yes. So what's your next big thing? Well, this is exciting. Um, Spaghetti and a Hot Dog Bun was made into a children's musical. And I just heard from them yesterday. We've done all of our negotiations, and they're starting to put together their touring schedule. And they'll be coming to Michigan in 2015. And who's they? What group um, is it's this? a production company called Stars Within Reach, and they will be taking um, it's adults that put on the production, and they'll be taking it to local theaters and to schools. I love it. All right, now we have uh, four books here. There's one in production. Where can people find them? You can find them at local Barnes and Nobles. Um, Smaller bookstores, independent bookstores carry them as well, and then always Amazon. <laughs> That's the go to. What does Amazon what not have? What will we do with that, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Maria, thank you so much. Thank um, you. Continued success to thank you. you so much. And your, your children are adorable. I know you said your youngest was asleep during that interview with Joanne, but what a great family. Yes, so. thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much.